guys welcome to my channel my name is Kiki or welcome back so on today's video it's a very simple recipe you're going to need your chicken this is chicken thighs that I'm going to use you can use chicken breast if you want to you're going to need some sugar I'm using smart sugar you can substitute that for with honey uh, you're going to need your sesame seeds because it is sesame chicken and then this is vinegar and that's uh, sesame oil we're not going to use all of it. it 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 really has a kick so you're just going to use a little bit of it this is cornstarch and that's um half a cup of all-purpose flour we're going to use that to make our paste these are scallions i know you're wondering why separately so these are to cook and these are to garnish that's uh minced garlic and ginger and then the garlic powder is going to go into our chicken you're going to need your tomato sauce or ketchup if that's what you're using soy sauce some salt you can skip on the salt because soy sauce does have salt so if you're not a person who enjoys salt you can skip the salt the salt and um, black pepper okay i don't think i've forgotten anything today all right let's get started <laughs> So guys we can you can stop right here i mean you can just take this and start cooking it just the way it is or you can go an extra step if you want it to be extra crispy and because i'm extra over here yeah i'm going to go <laughs> onto this step but this is totally optional it's what you prefer what you like me i like things very crispy okay <laughs> so this is just flour all purpose flour same thing we're not going to see the season this one uh, we're just going to use as is because the butter is already seasoned and um, the chicken is seasoned plus our sauce is going to be also seasoned so yeah going to be dipping our chicken right here and then leaving it there for it to absorb the flour or our mixture right here okay yeah make sure you have no old bald spaces like our chicken needs to be fully coated fully and if you can use one hand for wet one hand for dry yeah don't don't do like kiki <laughs> And guys, if you've made it this far and you're not subscribed yet, please kindly do consider subscription. 
hit the notification bell so that you can get notified anytime I upload a new video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. If you're a returning subscriber, Asante Sana, thank you so much. Uh, for you guys who come to the video, you comment, you like. Guys, thank you so, so, so much for always checking up on my videos, liking it, commenting. I really do not take it for granted. I am very, very, very grateful that you guys are subscribed to my channel, that you comment, that you like. Asante Sana. So guys, when you're making your sauce right here, you want to keep tasting it as you go to make sure it tastes exactly the way you want. Because remember, this is going to go on top of your chicken. So it's the first thing that you're going to taste before you. It's the first thing you're going to taste when you bite into the chicken before you can taste the inside of your chicken. So you want to make sure that uh, the sauce is exactly the way you want. So keep testing it as you go and try and balance out the vinegar and the sugar and everything else to make sure that it tastes exactly the way you want.
so guys we have come to the end of the video and i must say one of you one of you who's my loyal subscriber just commented the other day and said um the decorate with me video that i did she was like akuna kwaheri there's no bye bye because i didn't pop up as usual and you know just say something in the video to just say we end of the video so i will definitely be popping in in my videos to say kwaheri so if you're not yet subscribed please kindly do consider subscription i mean you've been here for 14 minutes you must like what you see so please do consider subscription for my returning subscribers asante sana thank you so much and i guess i'll see you on the next one